abuse the, the mechanics that of course Raze is able to bring to the table but now it looks like we are going to have the stacks here on the both the showers and a short side of thing but there is still going to be this counter stack and look at this rotation all the way behind but Congrat here is trying to get a little bit of sight there he's going to be able to take down dubstep going on top of the house there but now three more kills here in quick succession it's a flawless spot out at least one of the players but now dubstep moving in very close here he's going to be able to take down a ctx with aggressive push here he's going to work out with the frenzy in hand Congrat as well as one of fly though able to get one kill apiece they managed to salvage the specter so dubstep not able to reap the rewards of his labor and it's down to a four versus three situation for the son of Ren. dubstep is going to run into uh two as uh, ptc will get both dubstep as well as jesse vash leaving only ching to try and fend for himself he's stuck in hooker maybe he can get a kill no he cannot one fly gets his second as well and triple a makes it as cross angle on this yeah, Kongaret is going to hold on to this as the jet. Dubstep's going to fall very early on left. to the Spectre, and that will be dissuading uh, Bren from continuing on this push as the rotations are coming in. It's going to be a full 4 on 4 as PTC is a little bit too far to help. Orkham already in this tight angle. Wanna fly brings down Ching, but the paranoia connects, and he gets one. He might get a second. No, Ace takes able to get down the kill onto his Borkham. Ginny will chime in as well as it's down to a 2 versus 1. The time is running out, and Jesse Vash. Don't think that he will be able to get this spike down. Yeah, he's going to just be looking to get out with this van. Uh, lineup, uh, be heavy focus for now as PC pushes out, gets a kill onto his Ching. He gets the information, might be a back off. No, he actually Ooh. lines up with the head of Workum and gets the kill as well as the ultimate arm. What's up there? We almost have Blaze Storm in round number four. PTC is pushing aggressively. He does have the flash point off of the support. PTC gets four from on dispenser as well, but Ace takes will not let the PTC get the Ace. He's gonna he, he has he is starting this round really hot and when a player like PTC gets into the groove but a Borkum will stop the groove right now. First step going towards the uh, from PTC and it's gonna be Borkum drawing the opening cure. Ace takes playing quick close. He spots one, gets one through the door, but he has to back off right now in a dangerous position. Dubstep will be able to punish him for the aggressive play. And right now, Triple A, one man down. They're going to give up the, uh, the B side. Dubstep goes in aggressively, gets the second kill onto his Ginny as well. Four versus two. This retake, can it happen? We do see Triple A trying to get in position for this uh, retake as one of fly will bring down Ching. Oh, that was, might be the uh, crucial factor here, and I don't think there's a reason here oh, to no. not go for it, but Dubstep is not going to be set up on uh, decent angles there to try and work with, but now the push coming here onto A side. Oh, Dispenser, he's going to be able to find the person in U-Haul, not able to take him down. Dubstep, though, will fall down. Does look like Jesse will be able to get the refrag. The spike is still going down here at the moment, giving a lot of time. Waterfly, though, he's going to get stitched up in that crossfire. This is going to prompt the dark cover here to go on to heaven and it's really going to hamper the, the the line of sight here for PTC. He does have a little bit of assistance there from with a CTX. Jenny here waiting for the right call. He's going to be using the fault line as he does try to ingress here into U-Haul. Yeah, this post plan position though is perfect from the side of Brand. They are going to make life so difficult from AAA to try and get this retake. They should not be able to... Uh, get this win and they're just gonna back off. They know the position they are in. Two players up in heaven. That's not a good retake position. And Jesse Vash as well as Borkum and uh, Ching will already be in a fantastic uh, post plan position. So they're gonna give this round to Ren, not wanting to give up the op. PC went there. They already have a lot of utility yep. from the Cypher there. And Asitex is gonna be here all alone. He has to uh, uh, fight against all of the members here from Ren, all pushing here onto the site. But luckily for them, they do have the teleport here. And there's gonna be uh, Congrat moving here onto Elbow Site. But he's gonna get picked off by Dispenser as they start to move in. The plant is going down. It's gonna be difficult to retake PTC though. He's gonna start to even the score a little bit and actually swing it in favor of triple a yeah but ctx does has uh his showstopper so he can go in big if he wants to dubstep is holding the angle here comes a showstopper he hears the sound cue he might go for it he gets it oh no he trades his life though for the side of uh, 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 Ace Ticks and it's going to be loved. Jesse Vash. Jesse Vash does hold on as one of fly. It's going to be a one versus one. Blazestorm will be used. Jesse Vash, can he do it? Yes, he does. Of course, has not decided on which side of the map will they engage on as PTC gets a kill on Thursday Spencer. That's a little bit, that's huge as that's going to give the information 
uh, that A long is clear. A6 pushes out. Morka might be able to catch some rotation. He gets one. He's gonna look to back off. That's all he was looking for. Oh, but the pay shell doing a lot of damage. But PTC will be the one to end his life. As it's back to a four versus three in favor of AAA. Nice little place on both sides to, to catch the rotation coming out there as we did see uh, Ginny getting caught out. But uh, yeah, it was going to be PTC able to claim the second on the round. And uh, that's going to prompt the rotation here. A CTX going in for the flank side and we'll be able to spot if there's going to be a change of heart coming out from Ben. But looks like they are going to start pushing here onto the A side of things here. Hunter's Fury oh. going to be devastating here for Wanna Fly, And that's going to allow them to make inroads. But oh, it's going to be devastating left. here. Concret is going to be able to pick up the double and now it's going to be incredibly difficult here for jesse to really get anything going likely here going to try and get a pick off but these aggressive angles on the on long but uh, there's still going to be oh. that oh consistent pressure coming back here dubstep is going to be rewarded with the headshot on the ptc now might be able to get the operator here dispenser creating space there with his flash and now we'll see if things are going to be working in their favor it looks like rolling thunder actually being expended here but it's not going to stop the dubstep from being able to take down Ginny. But look as CTX, he's going to continue to pile on the pressure there. Then dubstep with no, not much HP left. He's not going to be able to do anything else. But this has drawn so many of the players out of position here for attack all round. There's only going to be one fly hiding out in U-Haul. He has three players going to be ingressing on the site. They are trying to take these aggressive positions, but this is giving time for the rotation. Yeah, the rotations have come in, so it's down to a four versus three. Can they hold on? Jesse Vash coming up huge with a kill on towards Jesse Vash, uh, on towards Wanna Fly, and a spike will go down. Conga Red, we need him to step up. He has been huge in the past few rounds. It's just one more round, another day in the office as Morkum with the flank gets one. Tries to flick towards uh, Aesthix, but Aesthix will bring him down as it's two versus one at the moment. Dispenser knows exactly. Wait, what? 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 Through the, what? Through the dark covers, Aesthix gets a kill on towards Jesse Bash, but he will not be expecting Dispenser to be in the exact same position. Tries to go for the half defuse. Oh, Dispenser, he knows the timing. He's going to get a kill, but would be able to get any of these vital arrows. Bind is one of those maps that you can get it uh, across left. the map here. But now, look at this push. It's starting to come through here. And all people. What? He is actually coming through the smoke. What? He's gonna catch the Spencer as the running back is gonna fade out here. Dubstep will be able to get the refrag, but this is gonna allow the rotations to come in. But Dubstep gets a second here onto Acetic. They're all starting to try and push on the site here for the retake there, but uh, Dubstep's gonna punish oh, Jay. No. But Wonderfly, he's got a judge here. There's not a lot of time left here to really make it work. He's going off top of the oh! and Wonderfly, he's gonna catch him. But losing that round, they are on an eco right now, and most likely this might be an 8 4 half. Whoa, where did that come from? from Whew. yeah that actually <laughs> had quite a bit of longevity to it as especially since a ctix has already pushed fallen back all the yeah. way into the back of b but you know that is uh, again just trying to gather a little bit more information Ginny is actually going for a rotation here i'm not sure he should do that just yet here as borkham though with the specter is going to be able to tang down congrid and that's you're going to be your defensive spokes out here and look at this this is prompting the push here onto site here but Ginny, he's going to actually come back here in the nick of time he gets one but the taps there for dispenser are going to be good. Now, they have three players over coming from spawn. They're going to try and occupy heaven, but it's already under that dark cover, making it incredibly difficult. It's going to be fading away a little bit here. As he takes, trying to get the nade out. He doesn't even need to land it there. Now, the Spencer's going to be right below the ledge here. Might be able to catch them if they jump down into sight. They're going to see multiple players all going to be there by heaven. They only have 20 seconds left for this retake. PTC will come up big with the kill on towards Dispenser. He get, goes for Jesse Vag oh as well. Oh my goodness. And he went for a 4 versus 3 to a 3 versus 1 right now. It's only going to be Ching trying to hold on for dear life as the defuse is coming in. It's down halfway. Brett has a couple of seconds left. Really have not, uh, have, uh, not abused that advantage they have. But right now, they have 5 members through B. Borkum. Dark cover is on cooldown, but Stix might be able to do a lot of damage with this uh, pain shout if he just commits it. Dispenser gets a kill on towards him first. Hunter's free will stall things a little bit. PTC gets a kill on towards Dispenser and will back off. He might get a second. No, Ching will get his kill as well as uh, Morkum as well. Butterfly gets a kill on towards Ching. It's down to two versus two. Ginny striking fast and the spike will go down. Oh, maybe a little bit too overzealous that they had the numbers and now look at it swinging in favor But it's gonna now be coming down to this 1v1 Jesse not able to come out with it Ginny is coming up with the flick 
plays here together with Wanna Fly. It was a 2v4 here from uh, Jesse Vash on towards the showers. He's gonna be able to get the information on when the rotations are coming, uh, when the push is coming in. Wanna Fly able to catch off dubstep with the aggressive push, and he might be able to get a second as well as the push coming in. Jesse Vash will stop PTC in his tracks. Chings as well getting a kill on those Congo Red. Wanna Fly will actually finish off Warcom as well. So that's gonna be evening things out from the side of AAA as it's gonna be down to a 3 versus 3 once again, which is going to favor the def uh, the attacking side as they can just overwhelm a side with pure numbers. Yeah, the, we are can already see that Dispenser is already gonna rotate together with Jesse here onto the B side. They did have two players really pushing out there who did die early on in the form of uh, Borkham and Dubstep. So now this is gonna set things up nicely here for mm -hmm. a 3v2 retake as uh, we do of course have to see uh, the uh, the likes of Ching keeping things honest here on the A side. Oh, but wanna fly, he's gonna push in. He gets his third on the round as Dispenser goes down here and Jesse Flash. Oh my goodness, the flick there is gonna take down his opposite number, but now it's a 1v2 retake and this could be a thing here for Ching to really accomplish uh, great things for his team, but it's gonna be difficult here. He does at least have the ghost available. He's still trying to battle against this, but Ctix trying to go for the wall bank through Metal here. Gonna actually not wanting to take this direct fight. All it takes is two taps to the dome of an opponent, but not enough as a will be the one to tap the blood the system with the, sh with the shorty. They might be able to get the uh, opening peak. Oh, the dink will stop PTC in his tracks, and he's going to be forced to back off. a takes gets a kill. Conqueror as well. PTC is still hiding inside his cloud burst, trying to... Oh, actually, just back off. They're going to rotate fast. a gets a kill on the chain, and they're going to try and push through the portal, but Genie will hold on still there, and then they leave PTC <laughs> inside there. Ask the gatekeeper, you're not going through here. I am going to just stay there and wait for you to come true. Dubstep, a little bit too low. He did pick up a Bulldog. It's not his own Bulldog, so he can afford to lose that because he's going to be able to get a full buy next round anyways. But four on one retake, it is looking less and less likely from the side of Bren to win this round. Great play coming out from attack all around. I think, you know, they didn't know exactly how how much that Bren had bought. They could have had a bunch of shotguns waiting for them in U-Haul. But, oh, top step, he is going to be able to take down one of Fly as he goes for the peek out. And with him being going to be spotted, it's going to be up to whether uh, AAA wants to really sacrifice any of the guns here. It's not likely that they want to do that, as you can see that they're hovering there by the B-long teleporter. But, uh, yeah, to really avoid the, the potential disaster. I mean, they did already lose mm -hmm. one of still gonna be stemming the tie ever so slightly and oh Looks like the dark cover is gonna be uh, working here against them, but uh, this yeah. one way it's still going to be difficult to push in, but they don't have too many players all pushing from that side. Oh, now it looks like Cloudburst here is going to be obstructing. They're going to be seeing this push coming out here from Showers, but oh, it doesn't look as though that Ching is able to react to PTC in time, and they're going to be able to get the three frags there straight away. Now, it's going to be a bit harder here. It's a 2v3 retake, and friend, they're going to again be sliding here if they're not going to be able to take this gun round. This is a huge uh, swing round for both sides. If Bren is able to, t to take this somehow, they should be in a good position to continue fighting on, but Astex will stop their dreams in the track as Dispenser will be going down. Dubstep, the last player remaining, the paint shells will be doing a little bit of damage. And he, Dubstep will be forced to take a tree on one fight. He's gonna take, no, not gonna take one as A6 will stop him into the crosshairs of Dubstep. Can he come up huge? He needs to, he needs to come up huge. He gets one, he might be able to get a second, he gets a second. Re positions himself and he's gonna look to try and be the anchor on this side and they might have just done it. Bren! Somehow, some way, manages to hold on. And anyway. coming through, he takes down a CTX. Then he's gonna have a little bit of backup as well. But now this is still gonna be halting this push. It's uh, allowing the rotation to come in here. The uh, dubstep as well, so coming left. in from spawn. He's gonna be able to find one fly. This Mister picks up another one here, and the shock dart from Ching is gonna be able to catch up PTC, just hiding behind the window. But there's no room for him left to go. And now there's only gonna be Congrate that's left and he's going to get tapped on the head. We're just try, trying to get uh, a sense of where the enemy is. And for not, for right now, Bren is actually punishing AAA for not having that Sova. Dubstep holding uh, the angle on towards showers. They do have the breach to flash through. Boombat will try and clear off a close corner and Borkum will be completely flashed. Waterfly gets a kill. Dispenser will stop them in the tracks. Gets the double as well on towards Ace, uh, Acetics. 
And love that will hold it across corner as well, getting a kill. Also, Conger, oh, Ginny with the one tap, making things close right now. Getting two kills is definitely very expensive from the side of Brent. Against a full eco, he's still alive, but love that will be with the triple. All in, he's, she's going all the way into her showers to try and get the plant down. PTC playing, oh, almost gets a kill on towards uh, Dubstep there, but he is taking a lot of damage on his own. Spike has gone down. Retake though, four versus five is going to be favoring the side of Brent. As this post plant position from uh, Borkum is going to push out and get a kill on towards Genie. This is going to be tough for Triple A to hold on. Oh man, look at them, they're coming in from all sides. Dubstep's going to jump onto the truck here. He's going to take down another one. PTC also trying to pop through U-Haul. It's not going to be working out. Wanna fly? still trying to get some vision here, but Dubstep and Jesse Bash, they're going to be combining X- And it's going to work wonders right now as they get the opening pick on towards Waterfly. A, uh, a C takes has to back up. Here comes the rolling tornado. That's going to help open up the side. They're going to get a kill on towards uh, Ching as well as uh, the dispenser as PTC opens up. They're going to get a spike down and this retake, Bren, can, do they have enough? They have 4 versus 5, make it 4 versus, uh, sorry, 4 versus 2 as Morkum will fall. Conger it will get that kill. Oh, it's looking difficult here, but oh, the two Franks here from Jesse and Dubstep are gonna be good here. Dubstep getting oh. another one here. Congrat getting his head taken off in close quarters and Cedix trying to get the angles here, but the, the defuse is going down. There's only one player left and Dubstep comes up with another one. From the side of Dubstep and AAA, they are starting, really starting the panning right now, forcing it up heavily onto his A-short, able to force uh, dubstep to back off. Waterfly gets killed on those Borkum, but the Hunter's Free will be doing a lot of damage. He gets a triple oh! here. No, only one. I thought that was a triple for sure. PTC does fall Spike towards it though, as Waterfly holding a tight corner. He does he does not catch out Dispenser because Dispenser has plenty of health as well as the better gun here. Spike does go down though, so Triple A will be liking that at least. Jesse Bash gets a kill on towards Jinne, as well as able to clean up here. Brent will be able to reach double digits and force Triple A to really rethink their strategy. Oh my goodness, and what a comeback we're witnessing, right? That has been the shining light in the dark uh, for Brent. As Wonderfly pushing forward, he's gonna go in and get another headshot onto his Borkum. That's gonna be definitely bigger as they are going to get the numbers advantage. Jesse Vash will be forced to play onto his heaven as this post plan positioning from the side of AAA is set up perfectly. Brent is going to have a tough time trying to retake this side. Maybe he shouldn't have used running black back that way now that things have gone the way it has. Well, I think it did give enough information here, but yeah, this was not gonna help too much here. But now PTC, he's gonna be able to catch out the Spencer here. Wanna fly, picks up another one. There's only one player left. Jesse also is gonna fall. And with that, it's actually only going to be Borkum on the, the loading bay side of things, but he's going to be oh, absolutely no. taken out. Oh, right. oh, Conquered, he's going to teleport <laughs> right in front of Dispenser. He's going to get taken down. Borkum with the crossfire, though, despite all of the, the dark cover, I don't know if he managed to actually shoot through the, all of that uh, obstruction, in fact. But Dispenser, he's going to get found out here by Cedix. He's, he's pushing out here. He's going to hold out by bench, but Borkum's going to find him. This is Brand fighting back yet again. It's going to be 3v2, and this is still going to be an interesting situation here for the likes of PTC and Ginny. They're all by showers. They spot out another one, but Jesse Fash, he gets the frag here, and now it's a 3v1. PTC can choose to save the gun or not, but Dubstep is going to take him down. The paint shells might be doing a lot of damage on towards Dubstep, but Dubstep manages to back off just in time. Oh, here comes a C-Tix. Oh, very aggressive. He's on the back line. Jesse Fash gets to kill those Ginny, but it's Cetix gets one on towards Ching as well. The spike here has been brought down. Jesse Fash gets the second on towards PTC. Here comes the Neuro tap, giving a lot of information. Two versus two. Oh, as Sneaks drops down, it's down. So only Jesse Vash, oh, only Wanna Fly to hold this as much as he can. Dispenser, the time is running out on Wanna Fly to get this quick and get this kill. But the time will run out, it seems, as he will fall. And we are going into over. Does he know that Dispenser has already crossed through? He does know he's waiting for it. He gets the kill and he's going to back off very safely. Oh, this is very reminiscent of the first half. Now PTC going for uh, Operator and the, the Light Armor, really pushing out aggressively. Bren actually not opting for the Operator at all for themselves. They're all going to be uh, totting the Vandals, but they don't care about PTC. Now they are kind of gambling a little bit here that uh, PTC might have rotated over to A. This is what he did do in the first half when yep. uh, he did manage to get the first 
pick, but there's going to be actually three of the players to worry about, and they know the take is coming here. The cloud first starting to pop through here, obstructing the lines of sight, and it looks like inroads here by Dubstep. Mm. He's going to get the first kill on Metal as he you know, tailwinds right inside here. Not a lot that can be done. Oh, Jesse is going to be able to tap on the head of the PTC. It's 3v3, oh, and now is. the full rotation has happened already as now. Congrat trying to do what he can. He is able to take down Dubstep here, One but he's going to get traded straight away. Chain coming up with a double here. He's going to be absolutely uh, paramount for him to continue to deliver here. He actually has the Hunter's Fury here in an overtime round, but he's going to hit him. Taking us to that third round, but uh, right now they are going to continue to defend on A side with the three players available to them. As this weightage here. Oh, Borkum is going to punish here on to PTC. And now it's going to be prompting the push here to come out pretty soon. They do want to try and expand the utility. They know they don't have the man advantage any longer and trying to overload on the site here. Ctix actually pushes through successfully here on the shower side. Congrat as well as he takes down Dubstep. This is going to be swinging things in favor of the attackers. Now, they're trying to go for the plant, but Dispenser, he's coming through on the shower side. He's able to take, or, or the U-Haul side of things, he's able to take down one, but Ginny, he's watching the angle here from a short. Plant, going to be successful, but Ching, he gets the shot there onto Ctix. He gets caught out in showers. Yeah, right now, two versus two in a plant situation. Four map and match point, as well as series point. There is just so much on the line. Their palms are heavy. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Genie gets the kill. Ching. Oh, Genie able to. Not, not going to be revealing himself too much, but oh, look at this. A uh, little bit of poking and prodding here. Warcom, though, he's going to get punished. Wanna fly, taking full advantage of the plays there. Genie coming in with the flashpoint, and this could be the turning uh, for an uh, attack all around as they are going to be severely in oh, their PTC. favor and now PTC oh he's gonna catch out dubstep as he creeps left. around the corner not looking good for Bren here in our second overtime yeah this is a disaster right now for Bren this was not the opening they look to get as a Ctix will be able to get out Jesse Vash as well leaving it up to Ching one versus Smite oh. and uh, Ginny and out just to close just to clear the tight angle and the Boomba will be shot down oh no Borkum will be able to get a kill on towards PTC and that's gonna sh start off the revolution from Bren. Oh, but Ctix though, he did take the opportunity to move all the way into the corner of Showers. He's gonna go in close range. He might be able to surprise them, but now they're pushing U-Haul as well. Borkum though, he's gonna get the shot from Long here, but Ctix is gonna be pushing in at the same time. Wanna fly, also moving in, taking down the Spencer, but Jesse Flash coming up big here with the double. The Ctix will trade out though, and now he's gonna take the teleporter, quickly move over to the B side, see whether he can get the plant down. This rotation here is coming in pretty quick here from Ching. There is oh, oh, Ctix with the next level play he's not even going to care he runs all the way through the defender spawn and he's going to go for the plant on a this is a actual guts end of a move coming out here from the, the uh, attack all round player plant is down he's just going to be holding out by the ct side of things but the only thing is now he has no idea where bren is but he does have the showstopper he can absolutely play for time here c takes Ooh. clutch players at clutch timings we need him to finish things off here as it's down to dubstep the shining star from the side of Ren. Can he force this into triple overtime? Or will a Ctix come out be, uh, taller than him in this round? He spots the spike, so he knows where the defuse, uh, where the players are likely playing from. Here comes the showstopper!